Ms. McDonald, and then Matt Rebell. Good afternoon, esteemed members of the City Council. My name is Leah, and I love Encinitas. I lived here for five years, and I'm really overjoyed to stand before you today with the opportunity to support the Native Plant Ordinance. That will make this beloved community even more unique, healthy, and beautiful. This ordinance represents not just a regulatory measure, but a profound step towards honoring Encinitas' cultural heritage, preserving our ocean town, and fostering valuable educational opportunities for generations to come. I work for a nonprofit called Farmers Footprint that started here in Encinitas five years ago, and we really focus on the intersection of soil health and human health. Native plants have, have a built-in defense against local pests and diseases. Pesticides like glyphosate have a direct impact on human health. There's countless research and court cases that have linked pesticides and cancer. So it really excites me feeling there could be a reduction in unnecessary harmful pesticides in our community with implementation of native plants. I'm also excited that this initiative includes and represents the native communities of this region. Their wisdom of traditional ecological knowledge of Encinitas is invaluable for native plant implementation. I studied environmental studies 14 years ago at Soka University in Aliso Viejo, and successfully, while a student there, implemented a native plant garden on campus. I was informed a few years later that that garden was so successful that the university decided to transition all of its landscape to native plants um, due to the success they were seeing on many levels from soil health, increased biodiversity, overall environmental resilience, and of course, the beauty of native landscapes. The native plant ordinance is not just a policy. It's a statement of our commitment to sustainability, cultural appreciation, and environmental stewardship. I urge the City Council to support and prioritize this initiative for the benefit of our community and future generations. Thank you for your time and consideration. And I also wanted to take the opportunity to support the safer, protected intersection on Santa Fe and Encinitas. Um, I'm a friend of the parents of Brody, and so also as a biker myself, this would really make me feel a lot safer biking around town. Thank you very much. I'm James McDonald of the Anthony's Bee Company, where <clears throat> if your house, compost bin, car gets invaded by bees, we do it without chemicals and we save the bees. And way more, I'm, I'm 